So this video is to help you um, be familiar with the program to put subtitles on the YouTube videos. So the first thing you need to do is go on captiontube.appshotspot.com. It's working with YouTube. And uh, then you will sign in. You will need the Google account for the ESPS information to sign in. Um, which I'm sure you can find with Phil. And that will take you to a page with all the videos that the field-based SPS has. You can choose the video you want to do subtitles from what is already here on the screen. Or if the one you want to do subtitles for is not here yet, you choose it, import it, from personal videos. You click here and that takes you to all the videos uh, that are uploaded on YouTube on from our account. So you can scroll through and look at which one you want to do. Um, we want to try the test from Andy. So you select your video here and then you click on import. So now I have actually two tests from Andy, but that's okay. You choose your video um, by, and you click edit, and that will take you to a page where you can start doing the subtitle. The system is very easy. Uh, first thing you do is you want to Add a track of language. So down at the bottom on the left, you have the default track, which is English, but you want to add your, your language. So mine is French. So I will just have it here. Um, you can give a name or keep it blank, but I think it would be easier if we all put the name. And then you save it. And so now we have still the English at the top and then French. And you can use the same video to do your own uh, subtitle. So if you want to add some Spanish or Korean, and then you click your language here, here, save. And you will see here you have French and then Korean and so on. If you have too many, you can delete it. Sorry, you delete it here. All right. So here I select the French and I can start my um, subtitles. So there's few um, buttons you need to be familiar with the add caption play and then later it will be published so first thing you play the video you want to see when you need to start put the subtitle okay Hi, my name is Andy Thomas I'm from Wales so we see that he starts speaking around second five so I will go back here and Add a caption so there won't be any subtitle before that and I will start my subtitle here so you play the video hi my name is Andy Thomas I'm from Wales and now I will pause because I want to put a subtitle for this length of time I'm not, uh, not going to do the whole thing, but you get the ID. So you write your subtitle here. And we pause the video uh, at the end of the sentence. So he, uh, here we have when it started, when I, um, when I added the caption. And now I click here so that it tells the program that that's the length we want the subtitle to be on. And then I save the caption and I 
we'll add a new one for the next sentence. So now the start, the caption start time will be straight after the first one. So let's play and listen what he's saying next. Uh, I lead the SBS here at the King's Lodge. So he's leading the SBS uh, here at the King's Lodge. And that's the end of his sentence. So I click here and we have the duration and save the caption. So here at the bottom, you can see uh, you have the timeline of the different caption. So we see we have two captions so far. It starts at four and finish around nine-ish. And you want to do this for the whole video. Um, so then we go to the next sentence that he's gonna say, we add a caption. And I've been working here with SBS and VCC for about 12 years now. So whatever he says now, 12 years. Of course you wanna record the whole sentence. And remember, always click here for caption duration. Then save the caption and so on. If you wanna check how you spelt it or if it makes sense how you wrote it, you can go up here on list and you still have the video that you can play and here you have a list of all the subtitles that you have with their duration. So it happened to me that sometimes the, for some reason the subtitle was doubled. So it's very easy to edit it. You can simply delete it or you can change the spelling. I can write it in English now. and so on, and save your change. But here it's much easier to read what you wrote on the subtitle than on a timeline. It's more to look at um, the sequ sequence of how the subtitles are. So that will, that will be it. Once you're done with uh, doing the whole subtitle for the whole video, you can have a preview here and we can look at what we've done. So here you have Hi, the first... Hi, my name is Andy Thomas, I'm from Wales. Uh, I lead the SBS here at the King's Lodge, and I've been working here with SBS and VCC for about 12 years now. Staff. So that's what we did so far. So we're pretty happy what it looks like. We uh, So we haven't made any spelling mistake. We can check again on the list. No, it looks good. And now we want to put it on YouTube. So we go publish and you can publish it on YouTube. I personally like to email the caption to myself as well and have them um, so that I have a record written of all the, all the caption. So it's very easy. You write your um, address here and you can send it yourself uh, but you can also simply publish it straight onto YouTube. Click here to publish and then they say it will take you some times to be published on YouTube but that's okay and it will take you straight to the YouTube page so you can see what it looks like on YouTube. So we will see what we've done again for the second time and hopefully that works. Hi, my name See? is Andy Thomas, I'm from Wales. Uh, I lead the SBS here at the King's Lodge and I've been working here with SBS and VCC for about 12 years now. Stop. So we see that our subtitle worked. Here on the right you have the different caption. So if we had the Korean one for example that would be added under here or Portuguese or Arabic or any any different caption. And on the YouTube video to find the caption, that's this little text box. 
and that's where you can choose which subtitle you want to use so that's what the student will do when they're looking at the YouTube video click on the caption box and they can have it if you don't want the subtitles or the caption just turn them off here so I think that's pretty straightforward it takes some time to get used to it but um, I found it easier and easier the more I did it. I hope this video was helpful and clear for you. Thank you for listening.